Uh, hey students, uh, welcome to yet another lesson uh, on matrices. My name is Mr. Gigi or Mr. Meshak. And uh, today we look at, uh, I want us to look at determinants uh, of a 3 by 3 matrix. How to find a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. But before we check that, we shall have uh, something to define here. So we have a definition here. I can just write uh, definition. Uh, the cofactor matrix. So the cofactor matrix, you see, it is the signed minor of an element. The signed minor of an element is called the cofactor uh, of the same uh, of an element. So if you have an element which is signed, um, now and uh, how, how does it appear? The cofactor matrix appears in this form. It appears where the first term is always positive, the second term negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So a negative and a negative should not follow each other when we are writing the cofactor matrix. Uh, a positive and a positive again should not follow each other, but should just know the simplest way to even write it. The main diagonal is always positive. All the numbers, all the uh, elements in the main diagonal is always positive. Uh, they are always positive and also the other diagonal, then you can negate the other sides. So if you have positive, 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 ne a positive, 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 then you remain with the, neg uh, with the negatives um, on the sides. So therefore this one is going to be important because we are going to use it when we are defining a uh, determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So therefore, let us check now, how do you find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix? So how do you find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix? Now, so we find the determinant of a 3 by 3. If you are given a matrix A, so if uh, A is a matrix that is given by uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, then the determinant <coughs> The determinant, uh, the determinant of A, uh, this one is always uh, can be not, uh, denoted as, uh, also denoted, uh, also denoted uh, by depth A, let's say it is a depth of A, or uh, is denoted by that. So we are given a matrix A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Then the determinant of this matrix is given by <coughs> will be given by taking the first number of the first element, then you close the row and the column on which that element appears. So we close this and we close this, then we check the determinant of this. So you close this and this because A is here, close this and close this, then you take these elements, elements here. So we have E, F, H, I. Then, using the cofactor element, you know the sign that appears <coughs> after the second one. So here is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So the second uh, element here is negated. It is a negative. So it is minus B. Then again, close the rows and the column on which B appears. So you close that. So what, what uh, which elements do you remain with? D, F, G, and I. So, D, F, G, and I. Then the last element is uh, positive, then C. <coughs> so, you get positive C. Again, close this, close this. So, you remain with D, remain with D, E, G, and H. And that's is the determinant of K. So the determinant of K, given a matrix which is a 3 by 3, so you take the first element, then close it and this, get uh, that, then again close this and this, get this, this and that, uh, and get then plus C, D, E, G and H. So that is the general formula of getting uh, the determinant. Now remember the determinant can be gotten from any row. Can be gotten from any row. You can choose to take D, E, and H, uh, D, E, and F. 
But remember, you always need to remember the signs. So, uh, we can just write another way. The other way you can get A also, if you're saying. So, generally, you should be using this. Uh, it is simpler, working with the, with the first row. But also, you can have. Use D, but now it will be negative because the sign here is negative. So we we'll have negative D. So close this, this, uh, this column and this row to so remain with B, C, H, and I. Then the number here, uh, the sign here is positive, so positive E. So close this and this remain with A, C, G, and I. Then this term here, using the cofactor element, is negative. So negative F. Then so close this and close this. So you remain with A, B, G, and H. So A, B, G, and H. <coughs> so basically, whatever you get, the answer you get here will just be the same as this. So you can try to derive the other one using G, H, and I and see how the formula brings you. But uh, for our case, we shall be focusing on the first one because it is uh, simpler, it is the first row. It is always easier to close um, the columns. Now, uh, the straight lines uh, on the matrix illustrate that we are supposed to get the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. I hope you remember to get a determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Um, yeah, so it is always this state, this minus this state, that. That is how you get the determinant of a 2 by 2. So therefore, this is therefore the general formula of getting the matrix. Now, so let's take an example and see uh, how to evaluate it using some real numbers. So example number one. Find the determinant of A, given that A is that matrix. So find the determinant given that A is that matrix. So we are saying the solution. Take the first element, which is 1, then the determinant of us. So when you close this and this, so this, so you have 2, 6, negative 4, and 2. Those are the numbers you remain with. Then we are saying the number is negative here, is negative. So by any chance, this number is negative. So it will be negative, negative. It will change to be a positive. But now it's a positive, so it just remains to be uh, the negative there. So close this column and this row will remain with negative 5, 6, negative 1, 2. Then plus. So it is plus minus 3. So it's just minus 3. So here it's plus, but uh, the element is minus 3. So plus minus 3 is just minus 3. Then close this and this. So it remains negative 5, 2, negative 1, negative 4. So therefore, how do you get the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix? This times this minus this is that. The element of the main diagonal multiplied together, subtract the elements of the other diagonal. So this one is the same as 1 into bracket. 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, negative 4 times 6, so it is minus. Negative 4 times 6 is negative 24. So it is that. So it is this times this, which is 4, minus this times this. So remember, there's a, there's a minus here because of 6 and negative 4. Then minus 4, again, 2 times uh, 5 is negative 10, minus or negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. So close that bracket. We have minus 3. We can have the bigger bracket. So... <coughs> Negative 4, negative 5, that is 20, which is positive, minus negative 1 and 2, which is negative 2, and you have, you have that. Then you can open up the bracket, or uh, first simplify before opening, so 1, uh, you multiply by, now minus, minus, this is 28, this is your positive here, so then, <coughs> minus 4, times, uh, now, <clears throat> this is minus 10 minus minus so minus 10 plus 6 which gives you minus 4 minus 4 uh, we can just okay we can just put it there maybe first then minus 3 outside 
this minus minus becomes positive and then it is 22 so therefore this will be 28 uh, minus and minus it gives you plus 16 and minus and positive so minus 66 and what is the uh, 28 plus 16 28 plus 16 that is a uh, 28 plus 16 that is a uh, 4 then 4 minus 20 to uh, minus 66 which gives you the negative 22 so therefore uh, that is it <coughs> so that really is if it's one the first element you get the determinant of the two by two matrix minus the second uh, the second element determinant of a two by two then plus but they ask you that this one is minus this one now changes to be minus so minus three then the element of two by two so how do you get the determinant of a two by two this times this minus this times that this times this minus this times that and this times this minus that times that you get the solution so you just uh, do the normal uh, expansion there open up the brackets and uh, you know the rules when you multiply a negative and negative it gives you a positive positive and positive gives you a positive positive and negative always gives you a negative and that uh, is it for the example on determinants Ah, yeah. So we check our second example number two. Uh, so therefore, we have so example number two. We have find this. Now the aspect that you're not told what you're supposed to be finding, you should know that when we have the bus at the as a, as a, which is bracketing up our, our matrix then it means it's supposed to be finding the determinant. It means it's supposed to find the determinant. So therefore, this is just saying find the determinant of this matrix. So, solution. Again, we take the first element. So in this case, we shall uh, be multiplying the numbers as we progress. Um, so let's have this. So you close this and this, you have five, six, eight, and nine. Then the second number is negated, so 2, you close this and you close this, you may be 4, 6, 7, and 9. Then the last number is plus 3, close this and close this, so you may be 4, 5, 7, and 8. <coughs> so the other is what you're supposed to evaluate. So therefore, again, so 1, now multiply this and this, so 9 times. Uh, uh, 5 is 45 then minus 6 times 8 is 48 so minus 2 uh, 9 times C, 9 times 4 is 36 minus 7 times 6 is 42 plus 3 8 times 4 is 32 um, minus 7 times 5 is 35. Then evaluate. So we have 1, this and this, minus 3, minus 2, this and this, suppose again to be minus, so it's a minus of uh, 6, then plus 3, uh, this is a minus again of 3. So you have Negative 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Negative 2, negative 6. So this one gives you plus 12. Then plus 3. 3 times negative 3 is minus 9. And when you add negative 3 plus 12 gives you positive 9. 9 minus 9 gives you 0. And what did we say about a matrix whose determinant is 0? So a matrix whose determinant is 0 is called a singular matrix matrix so therefore this matrix in our case becomes a singular matrix because our determinant is zero so that is it on our finding determinants so you can find determinants on any matrix using uh, this method and matrices again is applied 
So if you get to understand the knowledge and the concept that is applied in finding the determinant, then uh, solving um, simultaneous equations, which we shall check later, solving uh, yeah, solving the simultaneous equations using different formulas will require you to get uh, the determinant. So that is it. Uh, see you in the next uh, lesson as we define a transpose and also define another method of getting a determinant. So that we shall check it in the next lesson. So you can uh, do some exercise um, here and there that involves uh, determinants before the next lesson. Remember to subscribe, to share and also to comment on how um, the lesson has been helpful to you. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.